So I'm going to close my eyes a little bit and observe the breath, the in-breath and the out-breath. Just feel the rise and fall of your chest. This will slow your mind down. So don't worry about the breathing, just let your body breathe the way it wants to, but just observe the rise and fall. And if you have a thought or you hear a sound, just label that thinking and come back to the breath. And allow your attention to settle there in the center of your chest and feel the peace as your mind slows down. Now gradually feel a warmth in the center of your chest and imagine the sun is there and you say, I am the Son of God. And your body is no longer solid, it's crystalline. So that sunlight is filling your body like a crystal filled with light. And allow that light to radiate out into the room, illuminating the room. So there is a great ball of light around you, the center of which is the center of your chest. You can say again, I am the Son of God. I am the living light. Let us expand that light out to fill the entire earth. In fact, the entire universe. I am a white fire being at the heart of the great central sun. Bring that awareness now back to the center of your chest and see the sun there. And let us bring that sun down to the solar plexus. And why is it called the solar plexus? Because there is a sun there. It is a plexus which is nourished by the sun. So feel the sun in your solar plexus. This will help your digestion and help you to be grounded and give you lots of physical energy. And bring the sun now to the sacral center. The sunlight is purifying the second chakra. And now bring down to the first chakra. And 
This is purifying your connection with Mother Earth. And now feel that light go down your legs and into your knees like a sun in each kneecap. And then the sun goes down further, down into your feet, into your toes, and you feel a sun under each foot. Now bring that light back up through your body, through your legs, solar plexus, then back to your heart. And now let's raise that sun up into the throat center. A sun in the center of your throat so that all the words you speak are filled with God consciousness. Now bring the sun up to the center of your forehead, the Ajna Chakra. You can say, I am the divine mind of God, illuminated by the sun, which I am. I am enlightened awareness. Now bring the sun up to the top of your head, the Sahasra, where there is a lotus blossom, and that lotus blossom opens up to the light of that sun, and the whole top of your head is filled with sunlight. And now allow that sun to ascend above your head, going up a tube of light, and it merges with your I am presence. And you realize now that that light, that sun, came from the I am presence. It is God's gift to you to use in your body, to animate your body, and to use in daily life, and to call it forth in mastery. So behold the majesty of your I Am Presence, a great golden sun above you, about 50 feet in the air, above your head, surrounded by beautiful rainbow rings of light, colored light. You can say, I am one with God. And feel your God consciousness. And this light is radiating out to the entire earth, blessing everyone in your neighborhood and in your country and on the entire planet earth. So let us gradually now come back down that tube of light and realize that on either side of you, in front and in back of you, is violet fire, that this tube of light is surrounded by violet fire, which you can intensify and call forth anytime you wish. I am the violet fire of God blazing forth to purify my aura, 
and the aura of the earth. Now gradually come back down to the center of your chest. Feel your heart and be aware of your breathing. You can thank St. Germain, thank you for making these teachings available in the West. especially this teaching of the violet fire, which I have not seen in many other teachings anywhere. So you can open your eyes if you wish or not. I would like to say that the I am presence is not a theoretical depiction or drawing, it is a very real being, even more real than your physical body. When I first came to Mount Shasta, I thought this was an artist's conception of the higher self, that it was theoretical. But on two occasions, I've actually seen the I am presence. On the first time, it was depicted very much as in the artist's drawing. I will try to show you. There's one hanging on the wall here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in a lot of the I Am books. Uh, it looked very much like that, except the color, the intensity of the light seemed to be brighter than the sun. I was awakened in the middle of the night by this presence that was absolutely dazzling. And I sat up, this is not a dream, I sat up and I said, who are you? I thought it was some cosmic being. And it said, I am you, I am your own God presence. And with that, I passed out. I fell back on the bed. I didn't wake up until morning. 